love and light dissidents love and light so this little clip goes out to homie Romy. big love my man big big love uh he has requested a breakdown on cardinal mutable and fixed uh and these do uh, what I'm going to present relates primarily to the Zodiac, um, but they are alchemical concepts. Um, so they relate to far more than just the Zodiac. Um, they have application outside of this, but I'm just sharing my, uh, the, to the best of my abilities, I am sharing uh, how I have come to understand it. So... Uh, there are three symbols. Uh, actually, that's that's not even true. They're not very well standardized. Um, there are more than just these symbols, but the three symbols that I know for cardinal, fixed, and mutable. Uh, the arrow is cardinal. The standard crucifix is fixed. And mutable is generally an X. And I've also seen mutable expressed as a T, a plus sign. Cardinal, fixed, and mutable. Um, and I believe, I don't want to confuse anything, but I think I've seen cardinal expressed as an X inside of a box. But I'm not 100% sure on that. So don't hold me to those uh, musings. <laughs> uh, these I am quite sure that the, uh, the you could call this the uh, Greek cross. Uh, this you could call the Latin cross. And this one you could call um, a cardinal cross. Now, I, <laughs> I also, personally, I see the cardinal cross relating to um, uh, palindromes, a palindrome. Can be something uh, uh, it can be encoded by a cardinal cross because a palindrome like Fauci remains in its order but it can be flipped and it can turn into I cough that is a palindrome and I think of it almost as like a T uh, Anthony a cross of St. Anthony, Anthony Fauci, is on the cross of St. Anthony. And if you flip it, if you turn the cross, the word stays the same no matter how you flip it. So uh, this is a cross of St. Anthony. The cross of St. Andrew may be a little more related to this mutable X, is the cross of St. Andrew is uh, X and St. Andrew was crucified on that X next to the sea. He wanted to be near the ocean, overlooking the ocean, uh, where um, the elements go through uh, complete alteration from earth to water, full alteration, full turning. Um, there's way more to this mystery than just that, but I do think of the uh, uh, the signs of the Cardinal Cross, much like the uh, Anthony's Cross as a uppercase T, and I think of the uh, mutable X as a St. Andrew's X because it is like an anagram. And you can scramble all the letters completely, not just flip them in reverse. You can scramble them. So 
You can think of this as like Missy Elliott. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> Whereas anagrams are uh, new, an another level of encoding. And you can have more nested meanings within an anagram. Um, much more, much more meanings hidden inside of the mutable X anagrams. One of my favorite examples of the uh, mutable X as an anagram is uh, Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, let's see, I'm all out of room, is Prince Andrew, put the Andrew's cross, and you can rearrange this to spell C-E-R-P-I-N with the Andrew's cross at the end, serpent. Prince Andrew's is a serpent. Uh, just some fun ideas. Um, so, let me apply these three symbols, the cardinal, fixed, and mutable, to the uh, zodiac. And give some reasoning for this. And one of the best ways to explain this and uh, reveal this is in the biblical scene of Golgotha. This is the hill of Golgotha, um, also called uh, Calvalo. I forget. You have three crosses on the hill of Golgotha. This is your first cross, and then you have a second cross, and there's a third cross. And I'm color coding these intentionally. So when you look at them as the flow with incorporating the flow of time when you look at them you will see a repeating pattern of red green blue red green blue red green blue um, this is encoding the zodiac very beautifully thank you catholic secret society infested church <laughs> um, and what happens is the uh, cardinal signs are the thief who was not repentant, who would not uh, uh, ask for forgiveness. He was uh, unrepentant. That makes him cardinal. He was not likely to change anytime soon. Um, Keep that in mind. That is the non-repentant thief. And the crucifix, the fixed sign, is the Christ. He is uh, pure. He is unadulterated. Uh, he uh, stands alone in perpetuity. <laughs> Righteous till the end. Um and the mutable sign is the thief who was repentant. This is the thief who uh, agreed with the Christ and was very eager to change. And now the reason that they have these characteristics is uh, amongst many other things, it also is the characteristic of these uh, three quadrants, these three stations, as time rolls through the seasons. So this top line is the, uh, in, my, in the system that I use, this top line is the uh, summer solstice. These the, are the three days that the sun does not progress. Down here is the winter solstice, the three days that the sun does not progress up or down on the analima. Here is, you can see a three, three encoded. And when you put the three and three together, three and three together, you get the analima. Get it? <laughs> um, 
So the first sign as you break through the change of seasons, as you break through this quadrant, the first sign is cardinal because it's much like a sprout. It's much like the sprout of Aries. It is uh, uh, breaking forward through time. It is not... Uh, how do I say this? It is the most determined. It is the most stubborn. Uh, much like uh, in your youth, you are just determined. You believe you believe that you know it all, and you're you're not going to listen to your elders. You're just going to do what you're going to do. <laughs> you're cardinal, uh, and uh, I will point out that cardinals in Catholicism are appointed. By the Pope. They're appointed. It's appointed cross. The cardinals are appointed by the Pope. Just some interesting side notes. So as you mature, uh, you become more fixed. You become more, uh, you uh, become, find mastery of your faculties. Um, the uh, fixed crosses are uh, more integrated into their uh, into their into the life cycle of the season, they are uh, they still have uh, some some to learn, some room to grow, uh, and they also have that determined determined behavior. They are almost a uh, you can think of it as where these two opposites find common ground, where they uh, the compromise is found. You can think of it as a visica Pisces. If this is mutability, and this is cardinal, the Visica Pisces, Visica Pisces, <laughs> in the middle, oh, that's the cardinal. Or, I'm sorry, that is the fixed in the center. Stuck in the middle with you, right? So fixed is the uh, that compromised uh, center place, and uh, the mutable sign is most likely to change. Think of that as the, the, uh, an, an elder who is uh, easily uh, misled. You know, our elders get targeted with all that junk mail and they end up give, giving all their money away to causes that they just uh, hope are going to benefit them when they get to the gates of St. Peter, so to say. <laughs> um, uh, but the mutable is most likely to change because it is coming upon the end of the season. It is, this is, think of this as the leaves falling off the trees uh, and many different colors coming out of the same tree. It's, um, it's mutable. It, uh, it is mutating. It is morphing. It is ready to uh, turn into something new. Um, so that is the nature of the three signs and they repeat in that order uh, throughout the rest of the uh, zodiac. So it'll be cardinal first, cardinal first, cardinal first, and then it will be mutable, or I'm sorry, fixed, 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 and then it will be mutable, mutable, mutable. And those characteristics are determined by their proximity to the solstices, so, excuse me, the solstices and the equinoxes. Um, and so I hope that helps uh, give a little bit of overstanding to the nature of the cardinal fixed mutable. Uh, I hope my chicken scratch is perceivable. Uh, and I hope everybody is having an absolutely lovely, lovely springtime. Much love and respect, strength and wisdom.